The solution for clock problems would somehow recognize the movement of the hour hand with the minute hand. There are different formulas which can be employed in such analogy. Learn the tricks for clock problems in this video. You are watching Mathematics of Engineering. clock problems, we start by analyzing the movement of the hands, the hour, and the minute hands. With one full revolution of the minute hand, meaning it moves 360 degrees or 60 minutes, the hour hand would have moved one hour, which is equivalent to five ticks or five minutes. So by taking the proportionality, as the minute hand moves one minute, the hour hand has moved one twelfth of the same interval. Thus, we can derive an equation that the movement of the minute hand would be equal to the initial placement of the minute plus the movement all over 12. In this equation, we can see the equality of placement of coincidence of the hands. Another analysis would be imploring the revolutions or angles made by the two hands. With similar analysis like the first, but only working on angles, we can say that the movement of the hands would be 2 of 12 of the angle between them, which would state m is equal to 2 out of 11 times the reference angle plus or minus the required angle. In such equation, we use addition when the movement forwards and consequently minus if the movement goes counterclockwise. Take the first example. At what time between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. will the hands of the clock be coincident? Let's use the first set of analogy in this example, using the formula m is equal to initial minute plus m all over 12. By plugging in the values, m will be equal to 20, or that is like 4 o'clock, plus m all over 12. Take the LCD to simplify the equation as m is equal to 20 times 12 plus m all over 12. Then by cross multiplication, we get 12m is equal to 240 plus m. Arrange terms to have 11m is equal to 240, which then shows that m is 21.81 minutes, or that is 421. You can also work using the formula imploring angles to get similar answer. The second problem states, how many minutes after 2 o'clock will the hands of the clock extend in opposite direction for the first time? If we continue using the first equation, take note that it is for coincident hands. So, to be proper for the problem, we would need to add 30 minutes or half a revolution to keep the hands at 180 degrees inclination. So, from the modified equation, we plug in values arriving at m is equal to 10 plus m all over 12 plus 30. And simplifying, we would have 12m is equal to 480 plus m. So by extracting m, we get 43.64 minutes or the time as 2.43. What if we are to solve the second instance of having perpendicular hands with the previous problem? In how many minutes after 10 o'clock will the hands of the clock be perpendicular for the second time? If we use the angles formula, we would need to subtract the angles instead of adding them. So by plugging the values, we would arrive at m is equal to 38.18 minutes, saying that the time will be 10.38. The last example. Find the angle between the hands of the clock at 3.43 p.m. This time, the angle formula would be the most appropriate approach. The reference angle will be taken as 90 degrees to denote 3 o'clock and theta will be the required angle. M in this case is taken as 43 minutes, so by simplifying we get 236.5 is equal to 90 plus theta, yielding theta or the angle as 146.50 degrees. <music> 